Hi, this is Greg McCoach, editor of The Mining Speculator. We're here in Toronto, Canada at the Metals Investor Forum on March 4th, 2023. Today I'm interviewing President Kevin Keogh of Evergold Corp. Kevin, welcome to the Good to see you. Toronto. Good to be back again, Greg. Yeah. 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 Um, we had a big snowstorm last night. We were wondering where we were going to meet this morning, but yeah. it all worked out. <laughs> we did. We weren't snowed out of this place anyway. Yeah. Uh -huh. Great. Well, I wanted to focus on what's new with Evergold because yeah. I think this is an exciting part of what's about to happen. And for anybody who wants to be involved with exploration in gold in Nevada, mm -hmm. this is a great story. Yes. And one of the key points I think we should focus on is that you are fully permitted. And, and why don't you tell us about the Rockland? Yeah, I, I think the Rockland story is the one that I'd really like uh, investors and would-be investors out there to be aware of because although it's a property we've had for two years now, what's totally new is that we just got permitted for a very substantial drill program two weeks ago. So uh, it's in a Rockland is in a very hot part of the uh, Nevada geological landscape, the Walker Lane, it's right. on the west side there. And we have on the Rockland project a past producing high grade mine on the west side and a very substantial but very sparsely drilled gold zone on the east side, which we think might be sitting atop a um, entirely in intact epithermal high grade system. So it's an exciting uh, exploration prospect with real scale potential. And in the Walker Lane, to find a project with real scale potential is really exciting. Well, yeah. And it attracts the attention of the majors. Right. And um, as soon as you manage to get a project like that permitted, and I would briefly mention that our, our project is permitted for as many as 165 holes, 33 sites, and potentially as much as 75,000 meters. So. Uh, we're looking forward to unfolding it, uh, that project. We just need to work out the details as to how we're going to do that. Yeah, but you anticipate that drilling would be this summer? Yes, we have to actually start the work, Greg, on, on the Rockland project within a year of getting the permit. Oh, so okay. if there is a bit of a gun to your head in terms of getting yeah, that yeah. work underway. Um, as your investors and as your followers may know, we're not in a strong position currently. Right. I'm forthright with people about that. Um, we have a weak treasury, but uh, we've been in this business a long time. We have very good connections and uh, there are multiple ways we can progress the company. Uh, and we'll, we're kind of exploring the landscape right now in yeah. terms of what the possibilities are from a financing angle but people should be confident that we are going to find a way to get this done because I'm highly motivated to see this company's success yeah. or succeed. Oh, we've, least, we've, you know? we've made money with you before and mm -hmm. I have no doubt to, no, no reason to doubt that. <laughs> so what, what I see too is that, you know, when we talk about Nevada and my, my subscribers know that we've had a lot of success in Nevada over mm -hmm. a long period of time and that, you know, the majors are so desperate to replenish reserves. So if you get a fully permitted project like Rockland on the yeah. Walker train on the Walker Lane trend there, you're you're gonna get attention. Yes. And I don't think you'll have any problem with a fully permitted uh situation like that. People are gonna step up to the plate and whether it's the majors or other key investors that understand Nevada, yes. Uh you'll get funded. Yeah. And, uh, that'll yeah. be and we're confident of, of doing that. Uh, I'm co cognizant of where the company sits at the current time, share price wise. And um, I'm sensitive to issues of dilution and various other factors. And I have to do what's best for shareholders. I'm a key shareholder. Uh, I think your investors probably already know that the money that we use to seed this company right. went in at prices well above where right. we are currently. Right. Uh, Which spells opportunity to me does. for lay investors, you know, I mean, I mean, five cents a share, a Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, when, we, when we set the company up, we thought when we set the company up that to capitalize it at five cents was egregiously cheap. Right. We did it 10 cents. And the last money I personally put in the company was at 20 cents, right. as did Charlie Gregg at 22 cents. Right. Here we are at five, right? right. I mean, there you go. <laughs> but it's, it's, anyway. this is how we make money in this business. You have to train yourself to buy when the news is bad 
And these things are grossly undervalued, yes. right? And so that's how you make the big money. I mean, I mean, this is what I preached for yeah. a long, long time. So very rarely do you get an opportunity like this where it's so low, mm -hmm. ridiculously low, with a significant opportunity to drill within six, eight months yes. and get assays back that could change our world. Yeah. And I think, uh, Greg, we discussed it on your panel before, but um, this question of the unrecognized value with a number of your other right. panelist companies, right, where there is real value, they're generating new value and getting no recognition for it at all from the market, right. which is wrong. Um, we ha we're in a similar situation, even in our in British Columbia with our Golden Line property. It's a very large property, very large gold silver zone on it. There's real value there, but the market hasn't been willing to assign any value to the company for it right. to date. That will change because yeah. we saw what happened with GT Gold a few years right. ago, right? Yeah. Where the private a privately held asset, you could not give it right. away. In, in the last downturn, people did not want to finance that asset. Right. But two years later, with the same presentation, we we're able to finance it. What changed? Right. Just the timing. It's just timing and, and investor sentiment. Perspective, you know? yeah, with yeah. people. So, no, you, you <laughs> have to buy this stuff when the news is bad. That's the time yes. to it. So, uh, another situation that I want to bring up with uh, investors who are listening is that, you know, you're very good at assessing project value. And I think what I'm seeing with some other companies that I'm also covering in my newsletter is that they're looking for drill ready targets yeah. where we can test something with just three drill holes, let's yes. say, and it's not going to break the bank, mm -hmm. but it still gives us good bang for our buck. Yeah. And you're good at identifying that. Do you have any right now that you're excited about? Yeah, we're actively exploring. As I said, I'm motivated to do what's best for this company and its shareholders to get the price up well above where it is. And as part of that, we've been very actively looking at assets in the U.S. and Canada that could potentially really motivate the stock price to move higher, to get people in. That's not to say we are imminent in terms of uh, closing deals on any particular properties, right. but we're really actively looking and evaluating. So there's a number of ways that we can really reinvigorate this company. Uh, obviously, Rockland is kind of a foundation for this right. developing effort, um, but there's other things we're looking at doing. I think people should understand that we are motivated. So. Would that also be in Nevada or what would I can tell you we are looking at other properties in Nevada? Yes, also in British Columbia. Okay. Yeah. So Both. Uh, those are the camps we're Super. most familiar with. Really. Super. And yeah, I just like the idea that, you know, because of your previous success, because of Nevada, you will get attention from the majors. Do yes. you know I know you can't mention any names or anything, but you you confirm that that there's mm -hmm. major interest. And there you is. just have to yes. see how that plays out. We That's it. Yeah. It'll be a bit of a flying by the seat of our pants <laughs> over the next some months, as it always is with these juniors. Well, it's, it's, it's common. It's, that's a common thread yeah. for us. You know? I mean, you got to kind of go with the flow and, and adjust as you go along to the market circumstances. And yeah. we can do that. Um, sometimes you get very fortunate in the timing of your uh, corporation of these companies in terms of their launch of the companies yeah. in terms of the early phases of exploration they deliver results in a very timely way and we haven't quite had that with Evergold right. uh, but we can have it right so well I'm excited uh, yeah. I want you to invite me to the site visit yeah. when you're drilling this summer I'll come over Fly into Reno we can go take a look and well I'd welcome that yeah we'll make that happen all right all right thanks Thank you.